Hello everybody and welcome back to Hotline Miami 2. Last time we finished off with um, that mobster, I guess, who works for the Russian Mafia. He died. So that side story is done at the hands of the four copycats to the throne. So let's begin Act 3. Ambush. This is a funky beat. 1985. I have actually been going through and checking out what the dates are of these things. Uh, the snake guy appears to be two years prior to the copycats and the trial, which makes me think that he's the one on trial and not Jacket. But we'll see. I'll probably put all these videos in chronological order as like a bonus playlist once I'm done. I don't know if it's the heat, man, but I feel a bit drunk. Me too. I'm thinking about holding back, heading back to camp. You look familiar. You look like Snake Eyes. You're fat. You definitely look like Snake Eyes. I'll catch up with you later. You don't tell me what to do, okay? I'm gonna show you how to drink, you hear me? I guess I'll see you guys back at camp then. Just remember that we have a job to do tonight, fellas. Oh, I see. I see. They must be in the uh, military. This guy playing his Game Boy. Can't get out that way. Can't. That guy looks like he's wearing a mask. I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like we're in the military, so we're just kind of hanging out. I got, got another guy with me here. Hey! Reporter dude, what the hell? I'd like to get a picture of you, little mind. Sure thing. Could you have... <laughs> could you send me a copy if I gave you my address? No need, we have Polaroid. Would you mind stepping out into the sun here for a bit? Alright, good luck out there, guys. Thanks for letting me get a shot. No worries, man. Good luck to you, too. Oh, gotta take my picture. What the hell is this plant? Like, it's moving. Plants don't do that. Hmm, back at camp. See, there's a bird, it appears. There's a flag with a fan. It looks like that's a radio setup, but I can't be 100% sure. So, yeah, all the guys are just chilling out here at camp. Time to move out, son. Choose your weapon wisely and make sure the shot counts. Lord knows how many Ruskies we have out there tonight. What? I don't seem to recall the Cold War ever going to Honolulu, although I could be wrong. Do be careful, my boy. Don't want any of my men dying on me, you hear? Got a special delivery coming in tonight. Wouldn't want to drink all that bourbon alone. Not in this goddamn place. That seems reasonable. That guy's just chain-smoking. Look at this. There's like... Wow, that's at least two packs or so. Mm, shotgun? I'll take a shotgun. So what, am I just hunting guys in the jungle now? Yeah, look at that, I got ammo. Oh. Oh, uh, what? What was that? Interesting. Ah, that was dumb. Okay. Uh. God damn it. Hey, 
Yeah, there's a machete here. Can't pick it up, though. And I don't think I can hit that guy through this car. Gotcha. Yeah, I can't pick up stuff. Weird. Hmm. Yeah, there's just a communist camp, apparently. Just chilling out here in the middle of the woods. Don't know what to make of that. Gotcha. It's not like it's a uh, actual... I guess an actual first-person shooter where I can pick up their ammo after I'm done with them. Which would be cool. Yeah, USSR. Huh. Secret night missions. Some bones over here. The fuck was that? Okay, welcome back. Uh, you may notice that I'm starting at the beginning again. That's because, for some reason, the game decided to just quit as I left that area. Now, this does give me some insight. It looks like I will be able to unlock more guns as time goes on. So, for right now, I've only got the... What is obviously an assault rifle that says it's a machine gun. And a shotgun. And it looks like there's a heavy machine gun and a sniper rifle I can also unlock. Well, thankfully, I didn't, like, lose too much stuff. Ah, although that's... That's... that was dumb. The mouse is not quite functioning the way I want it to. Yeah! Ah, he's reloading. Wait, so I only have 10 shots total? Or 16 shots total. Okay, didn't die this time. Good. Okay. Come and get me, bro. Alright, that was done. Gotcha. Master of Combat. Master of Combat, Master of Stealth. Yeah. Okay, so this area's cleared. There's a helicopter over there, apparently. Come at me. Come, come at me. Good. Now there's this guy over here. There's two guys over there. Four shots left. There we go. Can I not take the helicopter? Can I not take, like, a knife? Or, God forbid, an assault rifle? This is not very conducive to my constant living if I don't have ammo. Gotcha. Come at me, come at me. Kill zone. Okay, so where do I go from here? If this guy comes over... Well, actually... Whoop. You don't want to kill me. You can't touch me. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, Lock-ons. Deadliest weapon known to man. Ah. I'm not gonna get that far again, am I? Come at me. Come at me. Gotcha.
Okay. All those guys are dead. <laughs> Shit. Is it just these three? Nice. That wasn't too bad. James here. I'm done weeding out the garden. How's it going with the yard? Hank here. Hank here. Ran out of propane for the lawnmowers. I can't do a Hank Hill. I wish I could sometimes, but I can't. We're at the gas station on 24th and saying, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Head on over and we'll share the ride back, Bobby. Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Wasn't this... This guy... I think he's the guy from Hotline Miami 1. One of the two guys who's like... He's the on-the-house guy, isn't he? Oh, yeah, that's a nice score. B! I got a B! All right. All right. Big and heavy. Big and heavy. Oh, shit. Well, they're having fun. Yeah, but this is, like, I'm pretty sure this is one of the guys from uh, Hotline Miami 1. Got our hands on some good intel here. We should get this back to the colonel as soon as possible. Not sure what to do with the captives, though. Maybe we should just let them, let Barnes have his way with them. Make the jog back to camp a hell of a lot easier. <sighs> oh? Oh? 